So this is the first time I'm walking. Uh, I got up, they put a new bag on me. This new bag, I can walk about now. And it's been very tough. Pain on my shoulder. You know, um, it's to do with the gas. They put some gas on me. Um, and the gas has to come out. The position was sat down in bed, it was alright. But um, now I have to do my first walk. Uh, I have passed the wind, which is good. Yeah, so I need to walk about a bit more to avoid some uh, blood clots as well. first walk, day two. Still all strapped up. I need to get away from Steven as well. He's driving me mad. No. Mental health. Second lap walking now. I can walk a lot better. show them that I can walk about and do things they will send me home and that's what I want to do now I want to get out of here At 2.30 in the morning, the chap next to me is an older guy, yeah. he's got dementia. He started asking for tea at 2.30, really shouting, tea, tea, I want tea, I want tea. And when the nurses um, approached him, he was covered in poo, you know, he pulled himself. So he went and got his fingers up his bum and then he spread um, shit all over his body, you know, terrible, yeah, terrible diseases itching his brain. They had to clean him up, clean the bed, clean everything and the smell of it, separation just um, me and him is being separated by a blue curtain and that's all he's separating us right next to me you know so that continue the other guys the other there's lots of other people with mental health there I couldn't sleep the whole night I couldn't sleep not because of pain or discomfort from the bed but because of these people and I feel sorry for the nurses because they um this is their life they're in day out they have to deal with people like that if he's spending one night with him he's doing my mental health imagine these people So I'm now walking and I hope to go home soon. Hi. Hi. Hello, Helen. Hello, Helen. How are you doing? I'm okay. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, I'm just basically the hospital's access. Just come in, just check you for me, make sure everything's okay. And how are you doing with your capita? How are you coping? I'm coping really well, actually. Yeah? Yes. Um, 
Yeah. I do have a question. Yes. Yeah. I came off uh, out of uh, the hospital with yeah. just glue. Yeah. But I asked some plastic so I could have a shower. Yeah. Which you got? I put them on. Yeah. But I haven't removed them. I would just keep them on now for seven to ten days and then remove them. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Worried that worried, Today is Saturday, 10th of February 2024, and this is three days after my surgery. So I had a shower, I'm all clean, um, I've been able to walk about, and it looks all really good. The nurse came here to see me. She checked the catheter. Um, the catheter is not too bad as well. It's all going well. Hello, Supergirl. with Supergirl and my wife Casey. This is the first time I leave the house. And today is Sunday, 11th of February, 2024. Four days after surgery. How am I feeling right now? I feel good. As you can see, I'm walking. Um, and I'm walking all right. I do have the catheter attached to me at the moment. It's a minor inconvenience, but um, it's all right. It's not too bad. And the catheter has two versions: one that I sleep with, or if I'm sat down watching TV, I use the big catheter. Then I've got the smaller one, which is on me at the moment. My incisions, I've got six incisions on my belly, they are healing well. My belly is not as big as, as it was on day one, day two, the day I was discharged from hospital. My belly was gigantic, but right now it's, uh, it's okay. Um, I am taking paracetamol every four hours. I'm not sleeping through the night. Sleeping has been difficult. I wake up in pain every three hours, every two hours. Uh, throughout the night, I'm taking oral morph, I'm taking morphine, but it's the only time I'm using the oral morph. The oral morph is making me very constipated, and for the constipation, I'm taking two tablets of Senna per day. I think for day four, I'm doing really well. And I wanted to put this video out, mainly for people who are worried. People that are going through the same thing that I went through, 
they are worried about the surgery, the impact that the surgery will have on their lives. All I can say is um, the doctors did a great job, operation success, um, and I'm on my feet, I'm walking about. So this is good. Life is great, and it will be even better.